first is, is a modern fascination with the UAV, the unmanned aerial vehicle. Today I've got uh, Ryan Hartman, uh, he's the Vice President of in situ uh, Pacific and uh, he's a distributor and manufacturer of uh, a variety of UAVs and also uh, the iRobot. Uh, Ryan, can you tell us a little bit the company? Yeah, sure. We're about a 10-year-old company. We uh, started in uh, Bingen, Washington in the US. Uh, we're about 800 employees now. We have uh, uh, about 450,000 hours on, uh, on our UAVs over the last uh, four to five years. Um, and uh, right now we're averaging about 15,000 hours a month on our UAVs, which, which translates to about 18 UAVs to being in the air at any given point. So wow. something we're pretty pr proud of. We'd, we uh, recently hit a milestone where we, we, uh, we account for about 25% of all of the UAV hours uh, um, for, uh, for the world, which is, which is quite fascinating for us. So. That's fantastic. Now, uh, you've got a variety of UAVs here that we can have a look at. What's the most popular model? So right now it's Scan Eagle, and that's where uh, we got our roots is with the Scan Eagle. The Scan Eagle is actually designed uh, for, uh, for weather surveillance and, uh, and tracking schools of tuna. Uh, and then uh, we, uh, we found that uh, that same uh, aircraft was very useful for military applications, and uh, so we transitioned it from, uh, from civilian use to uh, military use, and that's really where it exploded. And then, uh, uh, then we transitioned to a larger aircraft called Integrator, um, and we're just getting started with the Integrator, and we expect to, uh, uh, to get that into the field in the next year. Um, and uh, we expect the same success with Integrator as we've achieved with Scan Eagle. So the Integrator is the, uh, the model behind you. Uh, what's the difference between it? What does it uh, stand out? What stands out about the uh, particular uh, aircraft? Yeah, so the name says it all, Integrator. So we designed it so that it's a modular aircraft so that uh, customers can design their own payloads and integrate the payloads into the aircraft. You know, whereas Scan Eagle, we designed all the payloads um, and we, we integrate all the payloads. We wanted to have a platform that would allow customers to do the same. You know, certainly we're a very innovative company and we have a lot of great ideas, but we wanted to make sure we exploited the idea that many other people have good ideas that we may not think of. So my might as well give them an opportunity to design their own payloads and integrate them into the aircraft. So. Fantastic. Fantastic. Uh, so uh, just a, a technical question, how is the aircraft actually launched? So the, the aircraft is launched from a, a, a launcher just like the one we have here. It's a catapult launch, um, so it accelerates the aircraft uh, at about 19 Gs um, and it gets it up to speed and then uh, it's recovered on a, on a rope. Um, uh, that we call the Skyhook, uh, and uh, um, it makes it completely runway independent, which is one of the things that makes all of our aircraft very unique, where there's no runway required for launch and recovery. You know, on windy days like we're experiencing now, uh, there's there's no real limitations of wind, because you just point the aircraft into the wind and launch it, and it, uh, and it does its thing. Whereas with the runway, you have to hope that the run the, the winds are uh, are cooperating with uh, the direction of your runway. So, so that's something that, uh, that makes us very unique. Fantastic. Now, aside from the military, the Australian military, what other uh, interests have you had in the aircraft from the commercial level? Uh, on the commercial level, we've done some things here in, uh, in Australia for uh, mammal watching and whale watching. Um, in, uh, uh, in the U.S. and a few other places, we've done some work with uh, oil uh, and gas pipeline uh, monitoring. Um, and then we're working for uh, uh, for quite a few other applications in disaster relief. You know, like some of the unfortunate things that have happened here in uh, Australia. Certainly, the ability to uh, to provide video of what's going on is a, is a very useful thing. So we're working with uh, uh, local governments to to uh, try and exploit the, the the goodness of what our systems bring in uh, in unfortunate environments like that. So. It's a fantastic technology. It's fascinating. And uh, on behalf of Flight Podcast, I'd like to thank to uh, thank you for talking to us today, Ryan.